I was not planning on filming today, as you can tell. Usually when I film, I try to get ready and look somewhat decent. Not today, I brushed my teeth, so I guess that's good. <sighs> today, I woke up. Well, actually, last night, I went to bed and my eye was super swollen. And I just assumed it was allergies because I bathed prickles yesterday. And I always just assume every time I bathe them, I'm gonna get really bad allergies, which is what happened. My eye was super swollen. It was red, I was, it was literally closed like this. And then I woke up this morning, and usually it's better in the morning. And it's a little bit better, but it's still not very good. And it's gotten better even in the last little bit. And my parents thought it was pink eye, which is fantastic because I have AP Chemistry tomorrow that we're already behind in. They're thinking I might have to miss school, and I have two periods left in AP English before we present our AP project for the AP College Board, so can't really miss that. We're gonna go to the Instacare today and see if it's pink eye and if they can give me medicine and hopefully it'll get better even before then. So this is kind of horrible. I had to stay home from church today, so now I'm home alone with Dwight. So when dad gets home, we will go to the Instacare and see what happens, I guess. But for now, I get a party by myself, you know, play with the dog, watch movies. That kind of stuff. Actually, one quick thing. Whenever we were kids, we'd always pretend to be sick so that we didn't have to go to church. But actually, as I'm getting older, I like going to church. So this is kind of sad, but I have someone to keep me company. <laughs> He's gotten better going up and down the stairs, but he like flies down the stairs and kind of jumps off the second half, so it's kind of scary. But I just finished the office for the third time. So now we're gonna rewatch it again. They're taking it off next year for this whole year. I'm gonna see how many times I can watch it. So right now my count is at three. I actually ended up fixing my hair and my eye I think looks a lot better. It's still kind of like swollen but it's not very pink or red. And mom and dad are about to get home and I'm gonna see if it's okay if we don't go to the doctor and also if they'll let me go to school. They said if by this afternoon it's better that I'm probably okay and it's almost noon. So it's not afternoon but it's almost noon and I feel like it's a lot better. I still won't probably get ready today. Just like don't put makeup on it because that would make it worse I feel like, but I just burped. It feels a lot better and it looks a lot better. So let's see what they say. I've been using the Find My iPhone lately because sometimes they're gone for a really long time. And I don't know where they are, but I saw that they're almost here and both cars are here, but I don't know where they are. Hello, how does my eye look? <laughs> does it look better? Yes. It looks a little better. What did you do? Well, I took allergy medicine this morning. Okay. Do you, like, it's not as pink anymore. No, and I don't, have you been wiping the goop from it? Or it hasn't been. It hasn't been gooping, because no. it was definitely gooping this morning and like yeah. tearing up. Like, like if you leave it, you knew it was gonna like crust over. It looks 100% better. Do you think it's allergies or do you think it's pink eye? Well, if it responded to the allergy medication like that, I would say it's an allergy, which makes me sad to say maybe, like I mean, well, every, is, every time. This is what I wanted to like talk to you about though, because if you didn't know, I'm allergic to my hedgehog and we didn't know that until after we got And it. every time she interacts with a hedgehog, she's like, I think I'm allergic. And then we like, don't do anything about it. And then we're like, okay, well we ignore the fact that you're allergic. Yeah. But this is like the worst it's ever been. You know, normally like my arms will break out and my stomach will break out because I'll hold them up against me. But like, this is the worst it's ever been. Like, it breaks my heart that you're even like put in this position where you have to choose and have to decide with your pet. I will support you either way. What would you do? I'm a very practical person and I always put my self care first, mm -hmm. which sounds really selfish. I would probably get rid of it. If you asked dad, dad would, I don't know. I don't know what you'd say. Dad, what would? I should get rid of it. What would Chad says get rid of it? What would you say? Oh, about your hedgehog? Yeah. Da if it was dad, he'd probably keep it. Well, I asked you, I know, I asked him this a while ago and he said he would keep it. I would. That's just me, though. See? But there's no right or wrong. And just if you get rid of it, and it doesn't mean you don't love it. I know, and I think that's the thing. Like, I feel bad, but at the same time, it's would I rather him have an owner that can love him? Well, I mean, and it's not like I don't love him. It's just I kind of put up with him because it's not like 
and they're not cuddly pets. It's not like I can get him out and play with him and touch him and stuff because this happens, you know? So yeah. would I rather keep him and yeah. not be able to do that or give him to someone else who wants to do that and can? Well, if you're the hedgehog, I mean, we like to project our emotions onto our pets and humanize our pets. The truth is, I don't think your hedgehog is going to care. I know, and that- we like, to, we like to think they do because we want to think our pets love us, but- He really does not love anyone. But I think he as would long, be fine. As long as he gets his food, he's a happy pet. Sometimes I've wondered if I should like, you know, get rid of my pets, kids. I would not object. No, <laughs> you want me to send you away. <laughs> Sherry's like, See, oh no, don't hate me. me. I want a new owner. See, like, I don't, I don't know. I got him at a time that we connected emotionally because we were a lot like each other. And I got him thinking that he was going to live three to five years because that's what all the books I read said, that's what all the websites I read said. And now, I've kind of outgrown that stage that I was in and I'm reading that they can live for up to 10 years, which is, if I'm being completely honest, not what I signed up for. You're gonna need to, you're moving out next year, you're gonna need to find a new home from next year anyway. And Dad was saying that he would take care of him. But I'll take care of him. They are so high maintenance, you have to clean them all the time. And their wheels you have to clean every morning, and you, like, their shavings are expensive, and you have to, you're right. I do think that I would probably have to sell him anyway. Are you still taking care of him when I move? I don't know. Because I don't think the girls would. We already have a dog and a snake and two birds. I don't know. Am I a bad person if I got rid of him? Am I a bad pet owner? Because I've seen comments that are like, why'd you get the pet if you didn't, well, it's just like, just you had it for the fun time and now that you have to keep taking care of it, you don't want him anymore. Well, you can no. choose to let those shaming comments affect you or you can choose to look at the comment and say, this person doesn't know the full story and this person's comment doesn't need to affect you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people can have their opinion, but you get to choose if you're going to be shamed about it. And I think I've said it before, if I wasn't allergic to him, I would definitely feel differently. When you start staying home because your eyes are welling up and you don't know if it's pink eye. That's a sign, I think. Yeah. Don't listen to other people. You just do what is right for you. This is yeah. one of those situations where it's not like, okay, there's clearly a right choice. There's clearly a wrong choice. Like, it's clearly a wrong choice to steal from a store. This situation is just going to be, you have to be true to your perception for you. No. There's not a clear black or white choice oh. here. And he's not a dog, you know? He's not emotionally attached to anybody. I, it's my opinion that he's not. I don't. It's a fact that he's not. <laughs> he only likes his food, and that's all that he really cares about. And as long as he has somewhere to run at night, that's probably what I'm gonna leave. What does he do? Oh, you know what he was doing today? He was up in the on the bathroom floor, just laying on his back. He was just sleeping. I think that might be what I end up doing, especially considering that we're moving. And I don't want to bring all of his like allergens into the new house, I guess, because that's where I'm going to be. I'm not living there. I'm moving out. But when I come back to visit for the next 30 years, you know, I don't want to have this happen every time. A lot of you have been asking for updates on him. A lot of you have said you haven't seen him in a long time. And so you're wondering how he's doing. He's as good as a hedgehog can be, I guess. He doesn't really, I mean, he has emotions, but they're not human emotions, really. He sleeps all day. I clean his wheel once every day. I clean his cage once a week. He loves his cat food. Doesn't love me. I don't think he ever did. What would you guys do if you were in my situation? Because we're getting to a point where the allergies get worse. I don't even have to touch him now and I'm sneezing all the time. I have allergies year round. I don't know. Am I crazy for wanting to sell him? This is... I don't know what I'm gonna do. So that's probably what I'm leaning towards. But comment down below what you guys would do if you've ever had experiences like this before. Let's hope my eye gets better by tomorrow. 10 minutes later, Sherry goes, is it getting worse? Like white bumps have- I'm like, oh no, it's not getting worse. Like I have like a little bump on my finger too. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I <really> like, do. <laughs> I, I literally do. That's where you picked him up. Mm -hmm. Sherry, this like makes me sad and I also 
I feel reassured by your choice. Yeah. I won't have allergies on your lawn. I know. I bet you find that you're not talking as stuffy mm -hmm. as you are now. You might feel better. Like maybe. I know when I suffer from allergies, I get really cranky. Wow. And not not that I'm Thanks, saying God. that you're always cranky. Just Except saying you kind of are saying that. I'm just saying you might have an elevated mood. And you will go, where did this come from? And you can cut this out of the video <laughs> if you want. For sure, cut it. <laughs> Thank you guys all though so much for watching. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we'll see you guys next time.